Hello, this is Lauren Delsack speaking, and if you're new to my channel, I am a professional astrologer. And in this video, let's talk about Mars right now transiting through the sign of Cancer until June 12th, 2021, so for the next month ahead. And we'll also look at how that's going to affect each sign of the zodiac and what area of your life these energies are playing out. And we'll also get some advice through the tarot. So let's talk about Mars and Cancer. Just so happens that this morning when I woke up and looked at the horoscope of the day, there was Mars conjunct the moon in Cancer. Very appropriate for this video. Now Mars always represents where or how we need to take action in order to gain fulfillment. But when Mars is in the sign of Cancer, it's really not a happy camper in that sign. When Mars is in Cancer, the energies can feel introverted. Uh, it's a very defensive position for the emotions. Our actions can play out uh, in defensive action. or I should say, in a defensive stance. So we can react defensively. Now there can also be an anxiety about security, particularly feeling emotionally secure. And it's like it's looking for others or it's yearning for sympathy from other people. But it can also use that emotional defensive power to sort of exploit situations or other people. So it, it kind of always gives me the image of sort of um, people are going to be super sensitive, uh, almost like pins and needles. So you have to be very careful about how you're dealing with with others and your, the reactions from yourself in situations in your life. So let's take a look at each of the signs of the zodiac where Mars is transiting in the sign of Cancer in your life and like I said we'll throw a little tarot here and see if there's some advice for you. Okay so let's start with the sign of Aries. Aries Mars is transiting through the area of your life that has to do with your home life, your family, where you put down your roots. So home, house, family, personal life. So obviously emotions can be very touchy in that area, especially dealing with your parents or other family members or the people that you live with. Now the advice from the tarot is we get the hanged man. And the hanged man is telling you to pause. Perfect for Aries. Time out. So Aries always has sort of an impulsive, they act and then they think later. So in, in order to deal with that impulsive emotional reaction, you might want to pause. Count to ten inside yourself before you react, let's say. Also, the advice from the universe is to make an offer of love. Maybe you'll receive an offer of love, but it's all about um, expressing love to others. Also, showing your compassion, showing your charm in order to attract others. Possibly also pausing to listen to the little intuitive voice within yourself. So I hope that's helpful for you as you move through the next month ahead. Taurus, Mars and Cancer transiting through your third house of communications. Uh, your outlook on the world. What is your perspective? How do you communicate with others? And we see here that, of course, here we're talking about this emotional defensiveness. But the, the advice of the tarot is saying, use your compassion, your charm, your attractiveness in conversations with other people or through your communication style. It's telling you also as advice here to 
again, it's the hermit card. So we're talking about in- intuition, higher wisdom. Um, that's how you're going to find harmony in any of your relations with other people, whether it be romantic, friendships, associations. So it can be also advising you maybe between now and mid-June <clears throat> to retreat a bit. Uh, away from others or away from conversations that are reactive to you, okay? Again, it's offering, it's telling you to be more compassionate and sensitive to the people that you communicate with. So I hope that's helpful to you, Taurus. Gemini. Mars and Cancer moving through your second house of finances and self-worth and value, how you value yourself. And what's important to you, what you value. The advice here would be, <clears throat> be careful about having petty little arguments with others, maybe due to money or finances. You might also have some self-imposed beliefs or old beliefs that are sort of keeping you in your own, uh, let's say, world, mental loop or mental world. Uh, Also feeling, again, the Seven of Wands here is perfect for Mars and Cancer, feeling this need to defend yourself. But at the same time, it can be about, possibly here, the message for someone can have to do with competition. You feel that you're competing with others. Um, So find the unique things about yourself in terms of valuing yourself. Don't put yourself, you know, whenever we compare ourselves to others, we always lose we always lose. So never compare yourself to others. You are an, a unique individual expression of the divine. And you might want to look at some old beliefs that you have. that are it's, They're self-imposed old beliefs that maybe you're putting upon yourself in terms of your self-worth and value. Okay, so maybe that's something that you should be thinking about over the next month ahead. Hope that's helpful to you, Gemini. Cancer, <clears throat> Mars and Cancer is in your sign, moving through the first house, sort of uh, can relate to new beginnings for you, how you're applying your energy. But I feel here through the tarot that you're sort of, you know, you're doing the, you're sticking to routine, you're doing the uh, meticulous, detailed work, you have your plan, st- slow, steady progress. Uh, Although you might find that the monotony (coughs) of your routine needs to change. And the advice here with the Page of Swords can be having new creative ideas, a a desire for knowledge, a desire to want to study something. So maybe there is something new that could be inspiring for you to study, to gain knowledge on. The High Priestess is telling you basically to use your intuitive faculties to look within yourself for that higher wisdom. So the message here for you could be to tap into more of a downtime, meaning quiet time, to tap into that intuitive knowledge and wisdom that you have within yourself. And maybe there uh, you'll be guided as to what new creative ideas could be inspiring for you. I think it's time to break up the routine, okay? Okay. Hope that's helpful to you, Cancer. Leo, Mars in Cancer, transiting through the 12th house of the horoscope, which actually is not an easy place for Mars to be. It doesn't really enjoy being there. Sometimes what we can feel is sort of this self-sabotage energy or internal frustration. So I would say that the advice here would be to retreat, because that's what the 12th house is all about. Retreat into um, any kind of spiritual practices. I feel like actually with the tower card here, you're going to get like divine insight, illumination, uh, when lightning strikes and gives you ideas. Um, I feel like through spiritual practices, you could make a lot of progress over the next month. Now, also, the advice could be to use your practicality uh, and your logic. And I feel like what you also could be doing is behind the scenes finishing up 
some kind of work that you've been doing uh, that's more, like I said, behind the scenes or and or uh, learning or applying or learning new skills. It's sort of like the apprentice that's developing its skills. So there could be some kind of, um, yeah, learning, tapping into your inner talents, maybe discovering also some inner talents that you haven't been aware of. Um, and I feel like the outcome with the Two of Cups would be, it would be helpful um, to coming together in any kind of a relationship situation, whether that be romantic or two friends bonding together. So it just seems to me that, well, you could either be meeting somebody new or you could be working together with someone else uh, that's sort of on the same page with you. That might be what the tarot is suggesting. So I hope that's helpful to you, Leo. Virgo, Mars transiting through the 11th house of your horoscope, which relates to reward, recognition, compensating, compensation from your profession, your career, and also with the friends and groups that you associate with. I'm feeling here with the King of Pentacles that you're basically being asked to use your discipline, uh, use your practicality and logic. You have the vision. You have a, a well let's say, designed plan for what you want to achieve or the recognition you want to gain through your profession. You might even be finalizing up some type of project. I feel like you have your strategy and you know how to apply it, and it's going to lead, I believe, to abundance. This could be the month that you maybe uh, ask for a promotion or a raise because it's saying that the emotional fulfillment is absolutely complete for you with the Ten of Cups and you've got the victory card of success with the Six of Wands. So I think that any approach that you take in a mature, disciplined, leadership way is going to work out very well for you over the next month ahead. Hope that's helpful to you, Virgo. Libra. Mars and Cancer transiting through your 10th house of the profession, your career, your standing in the world. I feel that Mars wants you to take, let's say, um, a very fair and cooperative uh, approach in your profession or your career. Basically, it's saying that justice will be served. I don't know whatever your situation might be. Um, I feel like the universe is bringing you an opportunity of um, love, compassion, higher wisdom. And I feel also with the Tower card here that you something could change for you. Um, clarified by the Queen of, of Wands, I, I feel like you're going to get... Ide creative artistic ideas. I'm wondering how you're expressing your artistry through your profession. Maybe something is going to suddenly change or you're going to gain the insights of how you can apply that creative flair that you have. But I feel like whatever situation you're, you're in, it's going to work out fairly for you. Hope that's helpful to you, Libra. Scorpio, Mars, <clears throat> transiting through the area of the horoscope that has to do with higher-minded thinking and studies and sharing knowledge, learning, internationalism, foreign travel possibly. Um, it's kind of like expanding your horizons, how other people think uh, in relationship to how you think. I feel like what the tarot is saying here is that, you know, you could be <clears throat> a bit, excuse me, you could be a bit bored with things, maybe um, just focusing on one way of seeing something, and the universe is trying to offer you opportunities. I feel like opportunities that could develop your creative side, your intuitive side more. Uh, maybe there's something that you want to study, learn about, or share with other people in a very compassionate way. I feel like um, you're going to get insights and um, sudden revelations about this, uh, about making some kind of change in your life, whether it has to be through studies, travel, uh, broadening your horizons, uh, your outlook on things, expanding your world. So 
be open to opportunities that, that are coming to you. They might be coming to you actually through um, a a water sign person. Maybe somebody's making you an offer that you know that is either uh, of the sign of Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And I also have to throw it out here. I mean, in Love Matters, you could could be uh, somebody could be offering you something even maybe a foreigner or some inspiration to travel together just an idea there but I feel you know Scorpio where you're a thick sign and I feel like um, you know it all and sometimes when other people are trying to come in and maybe advise you or offer you something the four of cups could be saying you're stuck in your ways. So be open to new experiences for you, okay? Sagittarius, uh, transiting Mars is focused on your joint resources, the resources that you share with a partner, romantic or business or in a marriage. Also coming from other outside influences such as banks, investments, loans, <clears throat> royalties, this kind of thing. I feel like overall here, you're quite victorious with, with whatever you're doing. So if, for example, you do have investments, I feel like it's working out for you. And you're being advised to take uh, the opportunities that are coming to you, to take action, um, to do something more creative, perhaps, in that area. This area of life can also have to do with uh, metaphysical studies, occult subjects, psychology. But at any rate, I feel like it's, it's really telling you that you've been successful with whatever you're doing or whatever your joint resources are. And you're being um, given an opportunity from the universe to take it further, to be more creative with it. I think the only thing you have to be really careful about is people exploiting you and the energies can go either way, usually using any kind of emotional coercion to exploit you. Be careful because, it, you know, you could be dealing with something that's sort of deceitful. Watch out for that in terms of your resources, okay? Let's just say you don't want to do anything underhanded or get involved. You know, I'm just thinking out loud here, gambling, for example. However you're uh, playing around with your with your monies that involve other people. You want to be really careful that no one's trying to take advantage of you, okay? Capricorn, transiting Mars, moving through the seventh house of your commitments one-on-one -on -one to other people through either a marriage, a business partnership, how you deal with the public. The advice I feel for you is, I kind of feel like you're ready for some kind of relationship or you're ready to offer your cup to someone um, or to be offered a uh, proposition of love. You have to be careful about taking the approach of winning at all costs. Uh, you don't want to be disrespectful, rude, uh, or have anyone else treat you that way. So I feel like also with the Ace of Cups, we're talking about taking a more soft, compassionate approach with others. The High Priestess is here to say uh, or to guide you on more of a spiritual way with others. Uh, you know, it comes to mind right now, um, treat others as you want to be treated yourself um, that kind of thing. So use your intuitive uh, guidance and wisdom in your dealings with other people. With that Five of Swords, another thing that comes into my mind, which I have to say, is that you can always tell what kind of person you're dealing with by how they treat the waiter that's serving them in a restaurant. I don't know, that just came into my mind. So, you know, um, I think that it's asking you to take a compassionate, soft approach with the people that you deal with. See if that makes sense to you, Capricorn. Aquarius, transiting Mars, moving through the sixth house of work and service. 
your day-to-day grind, day-to-day lifestyle, work environment, this kind of thing. So I feel like you are victorious over the next 30 days with whatever you're applying your energy to. It can also be about taking care of your well-being through uh, spiritual practices, fitness, diet, this kind of thing. The advice is stay away from any kind of uh, petty arguments, debates with other people in your work environment, like with your boss or with the people that you work with, as an example. Also, um, don't be uh, anxious about the competition if you feel like other people are competing with you. Um, With the moon card here, there could be information that you don't know about, secrets maybe, but it can also have to talk about your fears and anxieties in terms of um, this area of your life. I also feel like you're going to be getting insights uh, about about how you can take a more creative approach uh, or some new opportunity that's coming to you through your work life or your day-to-day regime. Either way, I feel like the universe is saying is like applauding you for the success and the victory that you will have in this area of your life over the next 30 days or so, okay? Pisces, transiting Mars, is focused on the area of life that has to do with your outlet for creative expression, how you uh, enjoy yourself, okay? Also can have to do with love and romance, dating, giving love to others, and if you have children, it can deal with children. I feel like, looking at the tarot here, that you have wish fulfillment. You feel emotionally fulfilled in that area. And the advice could be here saying that you have a plan for whatever you're considering about these kinds of things, and it's just waiting maybe for the right opportunity for you to put it into action. Also, it can be saying that maybe you need to make a plan. Um, I also feel like you are dropping burdens. Either it can be that you've been maybe taking on too much responsibility in this area of your life, feeling overworked, Uh, overburdened and that you're sort of ending a cycle with that. Uh, So I feel like you feel quite fulfilled. I really do. Uh, And that you've got plans for your future in this area of life. And maybe that's what um, your focus is over the next 30 days. Could also be collaborating with another person. So that's what I have for all the signs on transiting Mars moving through the sign of Cancer until June 12th. If you like this video, if you appreciate it, share with others, and please subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you soon again. Bye-bye now.